Uh, our next <laughs> contestant, it just goes to show that you never know who you're sitting next to at La Renoir's. Uh Stephen, oh, and if anybody would like to come up and do a little improvised rumba, if you're really good at it. Steven, je crois là on va toi là, me vise on va là, il va là, on 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 Speaking of the orchestra not showing up, really a single violin on stage is um, kind of like a dancer. Uh, one dancer can't do all that much without someone else. And I started playing an orchestra probably because the bows, you know, they all go one way. They're supposed to go together. And mine was always going the other direction. So that didn't work out too well, and it uh, took 20 years of playing an orchestra to correct that. But the other day in dance class, uh, we were doing a, a group dance, and we were kicking, and uh, Peter came over and he said, you know, everyone's kicking to the right, you're kicking to the left. <laughs> so I obviously still haven't recovered from that. In any case, that has nothing to do with what I'm going to play, which is... Uh, the piece Tico Tico, a little Spanish piece, and it has nothing to do, perish the thought, with Lindy Hop. But if anyone would like to get up and do a little salsa or a little mambo, maybe the great Michael and Evita would like to supplement. They were, they were just talking to them about doing a little supplemental salsa. So that might add to just having one instrument to play. But in any case, Tico Tico. to have four or five other people go in the opposite direction from you at the same time. It would add to the visual interest of you going one way and the chorus going the other way. It's kind of like having like, uh, you know, the drip drop people in the back, like the pips or something like that, that they're kind of a background to what you're playing. So maybe four or five uh, violinists in the background kind of doing jazz squares and, and things like that. So, um, you know, th think about that. You know, or even guitars, or or uh, you know, saxophonists, or any uh, piano players. You know, something that can be moving. I think that'd be great. That was great. I loved how much you moved your baton against that guitar. I just think that you need to plug in the electric guitar. I think you forgot something, but I loved it. I thought it was a really great rock ballad. <laughs> Again, I have to disagree. I who who's taking, uh, who, who's taking the entries? Because this is going long. I mean, David said we're going long and now we have another kind of slop artist out here with the, 
thing. Worse even than the first one. Now it's there's not even. All right, let me just ask you something, and I, I don't want to be all Simon about it, but did you practice? Did you practice this? About 30 years ago. <sighs> well, uh, that's what you say. Uh, I don't know if that's ever been practiced, and I'm not a big fan of improvised uh, performances, you know, in this sort of thing. Like, I want you to put something together. I want you to craft a piece. I want you to have a skill, uh, a look. <sighs> and I just... I'm trying to do my job, you know what I mean? And if people just aren't professional, you know, I can't, it makes me look bad. How am I supposed to judge something like this? The criteria is what? It's, you've got a noise you're making. You know what I mean? It's this noise. And uh, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. You know what I mean? But I'll say this. You got balls. <laughs> that other group, they thought they had balls. You got balls. This is the ball routine right here. If I was that terrible, I'd never get up there. You kick any way you want, buddy. Great job. <laughs>